<laughs> I knew that one day you were gonna give me the big luxurious house of my dreams. <laughs> well, I gather you here as a family so that my wife could witness this special moment. <laughs> Mom? Dad? This house is for you. Come on, check it out. For us? Yes. Oh, so <sighs> uh, Come on, come on, of course. <laughs> Let's go. How beautiful. Really, Jesus? Look. You wasted your money buying this old people a house while you got me living in a filthy pixie. It's not like that, Andrea. We live pretty well. Besides, I promised them I'll buy a house when I did really well in my job. Her house is falling apart, Andrea. I don't care if it's falling apart. I want this house, Jesus. How could you think of these old people first before you thought of me? Please, Jesus. They're already too old. They won't even live long enough to enjoy a house like this. <laughs> All right, Andrea, that's enough, okay? Don't talk to my parents like that. <laughs> but they're not. You're adopted. Son. Don't fight. If Andrea wants the house, give it to her. Yes, give it to me. Son, your mom is right. Us, we don't need to live here. This house is too big for the two, for the two of us. Of course. Son, I know you did a lot of effort to buy it, but we're very well off where we live. We don't need so many luxuries. Besides, we don't deserve all this. Don't say that. This house is for you. Please accept it, okay? Uh, thank son, you, son. Thank, thank you. you. What? Are you serious? Do you think of your parents? first, then me that I'm your wife, your family? Andrea! Andrea! What you did in front of my parents was rude, Andrea. No. The only one rude in here is you, by making me think that the house was going to be for us. <laughs> Look where you have me leaving. Let's see, my love. We live well. You don't need anything. Actually, you don't even need to go to work because I give you everything. What else do you want? I want the house you give them. And if you really love me, you take it from them. They don't need it. Any minute now, they're gonna stop breathing. What's wrong with you? Why do you say that? You know very well that I would do anything for my parents. Understand? They're not your biological parents. Why do you give them everything as if they deserve it? Because they raised me. They raised me like I was their son. And yes, they are poor, but I never lack love and education. And thanks to that, I'm the man who I am. And that's why I bought them a house, Andrea. But well, if you don't think it's enough, there's the door and get out. Go on. My love, I think you're overreacting. And well, I, I got a little carried on and men not just respect to my in-laws. I promise you that I'm gonna get along with them. I'm gonna change. I just want you and me to be good, okay? Well, all right. But nothing will make me happier than seeing you getting along with them. My 
Nicholas. Oh, oh. What are you doing here? I so see you're already packing, huh? Yes. Uh, well, I'm here because I want to apologize. I'm very sorry for how I treated you the other day. Forgive me, it's just that lately I've had a lot of mood swings and that's because I'm pregnant. <sighs> ha! What? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> We're gonna have a grandkid? Two, they're twins. <laughs> We're going to be a grandpas. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, Only what a joy. There is a problem. What? Uh, if it's about money, don't, don't worry. My wife and I have some savings and... Oh, no, no. We can help you. No, no. Money is not the problem. It's just that... Well, now that we're going to be two more of us, we're going to need more space. <laughs> And I was thinking of moving to a bigger house. It's just that we need a warranty and will, if you guys sign this, <laughs> I could get a house as big as the one that Jesus gave you guys. Oh, oh like the one he gave us. Oh dear God, I can see. Honey, my glasses, can you hand them please? Yes, I think they are in that box. No, no, it's not necessary, don't worry. It's about that warranter. Like, you just have to sign it. And you don't have to tell anything, Jesus, because it's a surprise. <laughs> Poor fools. They get excited with anything. Now, dear in-laws, the house is finally mine. Perfect. I will. I have to go. I'll take this. Congratulations. Wouldn't you like to join us for lunch? No, 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 I won't bother you. <laughs> Finally, things are as I was planning them. <laughs> I'm Andrea, and if you want to know what's about to happen, stay until the end and subscribe. Oh, I can't believe this house is ours. And it's all thanks to our son. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank God for blessing us with such a great son. Yes. <laughs> We're going to give have this to... one minute to leave this house. But, but why? This house belongs to us. Not anymore. You signed this document where you waive any rights to this house. No. We signed because you needed a guarantor. So you lied to us? Of course I did. To get you to sign it and get the hell out of here because Jesus would never dare to do it. So get out of here. <gasps> Don't cry, my love. This Don't cry. Be... I'm going to talk to Jesus. <gasps> this is not going to stay like this. Oh, no. Get out of here, you two parasites. But run. And don't cry. <laughs> but no we are. <laughs> What are we gonna yeah, do? Don't worry. Now? Okay. Oh, son. Oh, son. I'll call you back. Son. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Dad. I came. How are you adjusting to the new house? But why don't you come in? It's just. Andrea kicked us out of the house. What? Why did she do that? She tricked us. She gave us some papers to sign because she told us she needed a warrantor. And we signed the papers. Yeah, we, we didn't know we were giving her the, the house that you just gave us. And now that we were moving in, she it, came and kicked us out. And she's pregnant with twins. That's why she told us she needed more space. Look, we had this for her. Pregnant? <laughs> Mom, she can't get pregnant. She has polycystic ovary. That means she can't conceive. So she's not expecting twins? No. Oh, woman, what do we do for oh, God's sake? Oh, I don't know, my love. Look, uh, well, son, we're so embarrassed. But she will listen to me. Come with me. I know what we're going to do. Uh, Thank you, son. Uh, we trusted in you. Uh, yes, well, I'm so glad you're here. Uh. My love, guess what? Your parents gave us that. What are you doing? Are you coming for a trip? No. The one who's leaving is you for what you did to my parents. What are you talking about? Are you serious, Andrea? You wanted to take away my parents' house that I gave him with so much effort, and you also lied to them saying you were pregnant? 
My love, of course not. That's a lie. My love, your parents are very grown up. They're not so sane. You are crazy. Look, look. Look, honey, wait. I can't believe how far your ambition has gone. They're lying to you. They're putting ideas in your head to make us fight. You know they are. You see what you've done, you old Bex? Shut up, Andrea. Don't talk to my parents like that. They're not your parents. What do you think so highly of them? Because even though I didn't come out of a womb, they raised me as if I was their son and they gave me everything, even though I didn't have a single luxury. And also, the worm of a family never failed me. I couldn't have children either, just like you. And yet Marco and I were very happy. And even more so when we adopted Jesus, because of him, I am a mother, but you are really far from it. Look, if you had told us the truth about the house, we would have given it to you. Because besides, after all, we are family. You as my son's wife. All we want is to be happy. We are not interested in luxuries or anything like that, just to be happy and for our son's happiness. And you have taken that away. It's just, I thought that... I never thought that a house mattered more to you than our family. You know what? I want you out of my house. But first, I want the contract back that you made my parents sign. Sweetie, I did it for, for us. So we could live better. But you gave me no choice. How could you be so cruel? When you had your accident, my mom was taking care of you. She protected you, fed you, healed your wounds up. You were her own daughter. Because no one of your family wanted to come and do it. That's how you paid him back? When all that they wanted was to help you? Well, now I'm gonna do what you did to them. I'm gonna kick you out of your house so you can feel what they felt. My love, I'm sorry, sorry. I don't know what I was thinking, okay? I'm sorry, I, I can change, I promise, okay? Please don't kick me out, please. Look, I'll change. I don't want the house anymore. I'll keep it, okay? Get out of here, get out. And I'll send you the divorce papers. Because I'm not gonna spend another damn day with someone as ungrateful as you. Elas, please, please. Get out of here. Get out! Thank you. Thank you for making me the man I am now. For teaching me to keep my feet on the ground. Even though my marriage failed, no woman in life is gonna treat you like you're worthless again. Because before I had a wife, I had a mother and a father. You are my priority. 